Oh, here is a quick one for you. Pretty pointless one. <laughs> Doing uh, Azura or whatever Heroes Grave at level one. All I'm all I need for this is a weapon with Raptor of the Mists on it and Margit's Shackle. Now, what I'm going to do is a bit of a suicide run to get the Tree Sentinel armor. That's Raptor of the Mist. Let you lets you dodge his chariots. And there's a there's a there's a position you can get into where if you use Margit's Shackle it will trigger a fire trap thing that alters the spawn points of these chariots, causes them to crash into each other. Yeah, that's where I mistimed the raptor last time. So what you do is run down the middle here, and drop into this hole. Now there's a skeleton in here, but it won't get you. If you if you use market shackle here, I wasn't sure exactly where, so I threw a few of them. You'll see the thing down the bottom of that tunnel light up. I think it's already lit up. Yeah, there it goes there. It spawned that thing. Now I could have stopped then. I got run over. So yeah, I mean, you either get run over or the skeleton kills you. But you get the tree sentinel armor and the ash of war holy ground anyway. There you go. So yeah, best of luck equipping that stuff at level one. <laughs> but you can if you want. Um, and then you can go You can go back in and run around and collect whatever you want from in here now. That's the, that's the dagger with... Yeah, so I've got... A, I thought I had a sacred thing on it. There's skeletons in there. If you've got something with sacred on it, you can run back around with some sacred stuff and take out the skeletons. But at level one, it's a bit iffy. But yeah, this is just to show you now that those... Um, once you trigger that event where they crash into each other, they don't respawn. Even if you, you can leave this, come back hours later, uh, and they, they, they won't be in here. Once you've destroyed them, they're gone for good. And that's pretty much it. And there's a thing over there you can get. And then you drop down here, run around... Dodge the uh, dodge the, the death spitting lobby monsters. It's a good place to collect some of these things as well. I got some high level glove warts down here. But I'll just I mean I'm just running through just to show you where stuff is. You could come in here at a higher level and fight all these things if you want. But if you I mean I'm level one and I've got Radigan's thing on, so I've got an extra five points and a few key attributes but apart from that tricky bit down here is you've got to drop off the edge of this but what, what you've got to remember is there's a there's a body right on the edge and if you if you line yourself up with this guy's head pretty much and walk off you're going to land yeah sort of you're going to land on that beam and then you're going down here and get this stuff now ahead up on the right up, up in that open area there's a uh there's a spirit summon it's possibly worth getting i don't know whether at level one you're gonna have enough fp to cast it i haven't tried so i recorded this and then quick so i thought get this video out why not and people have a laugh because these these hero graves are generally really difficult they're really hard challenges but i said i come in here come in here at level one and cheesed it with the raptor of the mists thing you gotta dodge these basilisk guys See that thing on the left just there? That's where the um, spirit summon is. Which one was it? Vulgar militia. Probably rubbish, but you know. Then you can climb out. Yeah, don't forget that ladder. You try going back and you can't get out the other way. Well, you can go somewhere else on those beams, but this is a bit, this is a bit of a better plan. Because all I really wanted to do was come in here and get that tree sentinel armor that I can't equip at level one. I can equip it but you know puts me puts me load over way over heavy and you can open this the boss door thing doesn't need to be unlocked you don't really have to do anything it's like it's always open I'm pretty sure it's always open there's no lever to pull anyway to open it and then you go down here and I'm not gonna do it obviously at level one but there's your boss door Right, I hope that was uh, entertaining. Quick five minutes, four minutes, whatever. I'll uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.